Hi everybody, it's Mark C. Winters, and today I want to talk to you about something that could really simplify your world. Uh, you know, for you folks that have been working with the rocket fuel material for a while, this is a pro tip for you. In the book, Gino and I lay out the five rules and the five tools. Tool number one is something called the accountability chart. So the accountability chart very clearly defines what needs to happen in your organization, who's going to do it, and how the accountability flows through the organization. So here's my tip. Once your accountability chart is done, I want you to stop using titles inside the organization. Okay, external is okay, but internal creates real confusion. All right, different kinds of confusion. One kind is just that human nature comes into play and people start to compare with each other. And that comparison leads to forms of competition, but it's competition around the wrong things. The next thing you know, people are thinking about hierarchy, they're thinking about levels, they're thinking about position, and all this leads to thinking about entitlement. Now you'll notice title is right there in the name, so that should be kind of a dead giveaway. Entitlement's not something we want, and titles can lead to that. All this thinking, all this discussion, it just feeds and distracts the human ego. Much stronger and healthier is the team that's simply focused on what needs to happen, what needs to get done, who's going to do it, and how is the accountability going to flow through the organization. So we're all pulling together in the same direction after the same thing much, much stronger, much healthier. So when I talk about internal language, if we're not going to use traditional titles inside the organization, what are we going to use? What are we going to put in the accountability chart? And it's very simple. So at the top, we've got the visionary, we've got the integrator, and as you think around the functions, we're just going to call them what they do. So you've got sales, you've got marketing, you've got operations, you've got finance, whatever the different functions may be in your organization, we're simply going to call them what they do. We're not going to get wrapped around with all these hierarchical titles that have been around for so long. Now, externally, use them. If they help your business outside your organization, use them. If it's going to help you get in the door, then that's fair game. All right? Three things to wrap this one up today. You know, first, the accountability chart creates great clarity around who is doing things, what they're doing, and how the accountability is going to flow through the organization. Number two, I want you to stop using titles inside the organization. We're going to avoid that confusion. And number three, it's okay to use them externally if it helps something happen for your business. Thanks for watching today. At Rocket Fuel Ventures, we're all about creating the most powerful visionary integrator duos on the planet. And we do that by helping you crystallize what it means to be a visionary and an integrator. So you can understand if that concept can help you. And if you decide it can, to get connected with your complementary counterpart. And then finally, maximize that relationship to make it everything it can be to help you take your company to the next level. So if you want more Rocket Fuel, please check out our website at rocketfuelnow.com. And that's where you can sign up for the weekly videos like this. Be sure you're, you're getting these on a regular basis. You can also take the assessment so you can understand as a visionary or as an integrator where your strengths lie and what the shape is of your two-piece puzzles that can help you find that complementary counterpart. And finally, of course, read the book Rocket Fuel and uh, keep those great reviews coming. So until next time, go Rocket!